prior to today, I've made a decision. I had decided to keep my grief private and home. But today, I have to record. I want the world to know what a mother goes through when your child is stolen and executed for no reason. India Kager, my daughter, was 27 years old. 27, my baby. Sitting in a car in the 7-Eleven with my four-month-old grandson, Roman, in the back seat. Virginia Beach Police SWAT, not a regular uniform team, the SWAT team ambushed my daughter's car, blocked her car. They fired the... They threw a flashbang grenade at her car, knowing she was in the car, knowing my grandson was in the car. They fired 30 rounds! 30! 30 rounds! Who does that? How do you do that? You know there's a woman in a car. How do you do that? 30 rounds! 30 rounds! And they executed my baby in less than three hours of her being in Virginia Beach. She lived here in Maryland with us. And they won't release the names of the officers. There were four SWAT officers fired on her of Virginia Beach Police, but there were many more involved. How do you have a conscience? How do you do this? Please help me. Please help me. I have two grandsons. Roman, he was in the car. India protected him. She had bullet wounds in her back. I've seen her pictures. In her back, my daughter turned. In her back. Oh, God, help me. I can't even tell you how bad this hurts. There are no words to articulate this. I'm going to put it out. I won't stop fighting for my baby. I won't stop fighting for India. I won't stop fighting for Roman. I won't stop fighting for, for, for Evan. And I won't stop fighting for Mr. Perry because he did not have due process of law. There was no arrest warrant out for him. But my daughter was in the car. And they saw her. They took her life. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? How do you do that? And you have a conscience. How do you do that? They're with their families. I don't have my baby. Please help me. Please. Okay, this is a call out to the Europeans. Sorry about that. But this is a call out to the Europeans and to Vocab Malone and to all the Gentiles in this earthly realm. See, this is what the Negroes been talking about because it's been many cases like this. See, y'all don't think you have not done anything to us. And you who have been warning you and telling you through his prophetess, Deborah Brown. To take your foot off. See, Vocab Malone, Husky394, if I have it wrong, it, be, it will be correct in the video description box. Vigilant Christian and many other Europeans and Gentiles who denounce who we are. Because this is evidence and proof to show you we are the children of Israel. And this is why the Europeans... And their laws and their courts and their police officers give us no justice. They kill us every day and they get away with it. So I want you to hear this mother cry. Now, Hebrew Israelites, reach out to this mother because she needs comfort. She needs more comfort than ever before in her life because she need to know why. She need to know what's truly going on and why they took her baby's life. All mothers, reach out to this woman. So I'm going to put the Facebook um post link so we can reach out to the sister here because our sister's hurting right now for those who understand what it's like to lose a child and justly again europeans you better get it together because the father ain't playing with you his wrath is coming for what you did you need to repent while you have a chance before it's too late because you shall reap what you sow all right, my brothers and sisters, continue to preach the gospel that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, for this is the season for the Messiah to return. Make sure the people receive salvation as written in Romans chapter 10 and baptize them in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. And please reach out to this sister here because she needs us. Shalom.